Over the past five weeks, I have lost 15 pounds of fat eating one of these three salads every night and never felt hungry. If you want weight loss that feels effortless, I highly recommend trying one of these salads out. We are going to start by getting our chicken marinated. For that, we will grab a large bowl and into it add freshly chopped parsley, white vinegar, garlic, lemon juice, fat-free Greek yogurt, olive oil, smoked paprika, salt, MSG, and crushed black pepper. Whisk these ingredients together and let's grab our prepped chicken breasts. Add these breasts into your bowl one at a time and make sure the entire surface and all of its crevices are covered with the marinade before adding another breast. This is going to ensure we have a juicy chicken after it's cooked. Once all four breasts are soaked, cover the bowl with cling wrap and refrigerate for at least one hour. I usually do this earlier in the day or the day before so I can get the most flavor possible from the marinade. Some of you are saying, Nick, why so many chicken breasts for one salad? You caught me. This isn't just for one salad. Now you can certainly cook these breasts one at a time and have enough for one salad, but then you will have to cook every night to eat. Instead, make them once and have them for the entire week. While our chicken is marinating, let's make our dressing. People may disagree, but I would just feel wrong making anything other than tzatziki sauce for our dressing. Grab two cucumbers, cut off the ends, and peel them. Then cut them in half and scoop out the seeds. We want to get the cucumber broken down nice and thin, so let's grab a box grater and grate them down on the side with the large holes. You can add the grated cucumbers to the dressing as is, but I find the cucumbers will make the tzatziki extremely watery, and I like a dressing that will grab onto the veggies and not just end up at the bottom of my bowl. To avoid that, grab a tea towel or paper towel, place the shredded cucumber in the middle of it, and squeeze the excess liquid out over the sink. Place the cucumber in a large bowl and add Greek yogurt, olive oil, vinegar, dried dill, minced garlic, feta cheese, salt, and black pepper. I add the feta here because fat-free cheese always lacks flavor. Putting the cheese in this flavor bomb of a sauce will make the feta come to life and taste incredible. Mix the ingredients to combine, add to a container, and refrigerate. I don't even like onions, but pickled onions are the shit. I love ingredients that will enhance a dish with minimal effort and pickled onions do just that. Grab a small pot and add water, vinegar, and salt. Mix the solution together until the salt is dissolved and add to the stovetop on high heat. Thinly slice a red onion and add to a container. Once the pot comes to a boil, remove from the heat and let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Pour the mixture over the onions, place a lid on the container, and let it come to room temperature. If you want an even easier quote-unquote cheater method for a single serving of pickled onions, slice as much as you would like, add to a bowl, and cover with vinegar. Let them sit for at least 20 minutes. Before I forget, the salad recipes have already been eaten for nearly two weeks by the people that pre-ordered my cookbook. If you would like first access to my recipes as well, click the link in the pinned comment and use code E4CM20 to receive 20% off for pre-ordering the cookbook. I am almost finished with the chicken alfredo pizza recipe that all customers will have added to their pre-order PDF any day now but likely won't be released on the channel for a couple of weeks. Let's grab our marinated chicken breast and add them to a sheet pan, preferably on a wire rack if you have one, then add to a preheated 400 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 155 degrees. While the chicken is cooking, let's prep our vegetables. We are going to grab a full head of romaine lettuce and make a cut in the middle of the lettuce lengthwise. This will essentially cut the lettuce in half without cutting off the stem. Then we will flip the lettuce 90 degrees and do the same. This will give us nice bite-sized pieces with the least amount of chopping. Then, starting at the top, slice the lettuce every inch or so. Add the chopped lettuce to a salad spinner, add cold water to it, shake the lettuce a little bit to loosen up any dirt that may be on it, and let it soak for a couple of minutes. Drain the water, spin the lettuce a couple times, and add it to your bowl. Make sure you have a big bowl as well. This is technically a serving-sized bowl, but in this case, is a Nick-sized bowl. Then we'll slice the tomato and cucumber and add them to our bowl as well. Slice whatever size chunks you'd like, but this is how I like mine. Once the chicken is done, grab it from the oven and chop one of your breasts into bite-sized pieces. Add 168 grams to your bowl, followed by the tzatziki, 
pickled onion, and some extra feta because who doesn't love more cheese? If you want an additional pop of flavor, add a little fat-free Italian dressing over the salad and I can guarantee you will thank me later. You now have a two-pound dinner in your bowl and enough prepped chicken, tzatziki sauce, and pickled onion for the rest of the week. This salad hits my taste buds from all angles and I could eat it every day of the week without getting sick of it. Let's get our elote salad going by cooking our chicken. These chicken breasts have been dry brining for about two hours in the fridge, but you can do this the night before as well. Dry brining helps keep the chicken tender and moist after being cooked. All you have to do is cover both sides of the chicken with one gram of salt for every 100 grams of chicken and put them into the fridge until you are ready to cook. Also, I tenderized the breasts by smashing them repeatedly with a meat tenderizer until they were about a half inch thick through the whole breast. This will ensure even cooking. Now, before we cook the chicken, we will quickly pat it dry with a paper towel, place them on a sheet pan with a wire rack, and add smoked paprika and chili powder over the top. Then throw them into a preheated 400 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes or until the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 155 degrees. While that's cooking, let's get our elote dressing prepped. For that, we will start with frozen corn. Unless you really want the taste of fresh grilled corn, which admittedly is a nice flavor boost, I find using frozen corn in a cast iron pan easy easier in every way possible. We will get that cast iron piping hot, add our butter, and spread it around the pan. Then add the corn and spread it evenly across the pan in one layer. Add a pinch of salt over the top and let it cook for about 60 to 90 seconds. Once we start to hear some popping noises, we know it's time to toss the corn to cook the other side. Cook for an additional 60 to 90 seconds and add to a bowl. Fair warning, watch out for hot ass flying corn. I got a kernel on my stomach and it burned the shit out of me when testing this recipe. In a separate bowl, add mayonnaise, Greek yogurt, lime juice, water, valentina, freshly chopped cilantro, garlic, smoked paprika, salt, and a pinch of black pepper, which I forgot to show you, but here it is now. Mix all these ingredients to combine, add your corn, and mix again. If you want your final salad to look as aesthetic as possible, I recommend keeping about a quarter of the corn behind to top with at the end of the recipe. Prep your vegetables similar to the chicken gyro recipe. If you don't have a salad spinner, you can add the lettuce to a strainer or colander and wash off the lettuce thoroughly. Then just pat dry with a clean kitchen towel and add to your bowl. Once the chicken is cooked, grab a breast, cut it into bite-sized pieces, and add it to the salad. Try not to eat it before adding it to your bowl because it is that damn delicious. And finish by chopping green onion and adding it over the top of the salad along with cotija cheese. If you never had cotija cheese before, it is a crumbly type of cheese that is absolutely delicious. If you can't find cotija near you, you can substitute with some low-fat or fat-free feta as well. Feta provides a similar texture to cotija and has a salty bite to it too. Oh yeah, you can't forget the dressing. Evenly spread it throughout the bowl, sprinkle the extra corn over the top, post it to Instagram for all of your followers to be jealous of, and it's time to eat. This salad comes together stupidly fast and can easily be freshly prepped every day. We'll start with our burgers. Weigh out 210 grams of 96 four ground beef and separate it into three similarly sized pieces. Form those pieces into balls, put them on separate sheets of parchment paper, and cover each ball with another sheet of parchment paper. Using a cast iron or something that is heavy with a flat bottom, flatten the patties to about an eighth of an inch thick. Put that cast iron on the stove top and turn it up to high heat. Then let's prep our vegetables. Grab a head of iceberg lettuce, remove the leaves, and lay them on the cutting board. Cut them about every inch or so until you get near the stem where most of the lettuce is white. I then like to give the lettuce a rough chop and add it to the salad spinner or strainer to wash. We will finish the veggies by cutting the tomato and adding everything to the bowl. Once the cast iron starts smoking, add your butter, spread it evenly across the pan, and place one of the patties into it. I like to take my spatula and press down on the meat for about 2-3 to three seconds, and then add a pinch of salt and pepper to the patty. Once the juices come to the top, we know it's time to flip, and right away, we will add our cheese and cook for another 30 seconds or so. Put the cooked burger on the cutting board and repeat the process for the next two burgers. Chop the burgers into bite-sized chunks, add them over the top of your salad, along with a swirl of ketchup and mustard for your dressing, and it is time to eat. All three of these salads were in rotation my entire mini-cut and made 
made losing weight simple. Honestly, I was afraid I wouldn't like these salads as the only thing I ate for dinner, but to my surprise was a meal I looked forward to every night and couldn't eat anything else afterwards even if I wanted to because I was so full. I also had a McChicken and fries prepped every day for lunch that made me feel like I wasn't even dieting. You can check out that meal prep here and be eating McChickens all week long. Until next time, deuces.